good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you to Cass County, Illinois. Virginia, Illinois is exactly where we're at here this evening as we get you ready for junior high basketball on Central Illinois Sports. This is the eighth grade Class 1A sectional between Griggsville Perry and Western in what should be a very good contest between what we believe to be two pretty evenly matched teams who, besides being 15 miles apart, did not play each other in the regular season this year. Damon Emmerich joins me alongside here tonight on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. Damon, it's always an exciting time when it is sectional basketball action. And of course, one of the storied programs in IESA is here tonight in Griggsville Perry and a team in Western that has had a lot of success this year already on the girls' side and hoping to duplicate that with the boys. Yeah, we saw the uh, Western girls have had their fair share of success, especially on the eighth grade side, finishing second in class eight for their program, and the boys are hoping to duplicate that or one-up them. If they can win this one, they'll get a chance to go to the state tournament that we will carry live for you on Central Illinois Sports as well on Saturday. You're watching the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. We'll come back in just a couple of minutes after giving you some wonderful words from our sponsors, and we'll get you ready for this one. It's the Eagles and the Wildcats. You're watching Junior High Sectional Action Live on Central Illinois Sports. Are you looking to streamline your banking? Great Rivers Bank has just what you need with our streamlined checking and savings accounts. Earn high interest rates or get cash back on debit card purchases with your qualifying account. Plus, ATM fee refunds. Certain qualifications required. Call or visit our website today at www.greatriversbank.bank to get started. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. At Farmer State Bank, we believe in community, teamwork, and success. We're thrilled to announce that we've been named the best place to work in Illinois and the best community bank in America this year. Join us on this winning team where your dreams take center court at Farmer State Bank. We're a team, discover the difference. The best place to bank, the best place to work. Because when our community wins, we all win. Where community, excellence, and selection is one of the important decisions required to achieve yield goals. Logan AgriService represents top seed lines in the industry like Lewis Hybrids, Stein Seed, and AgriGold, and focuses on products developed to meet or exceed our customers' expectations. Sit down with one of our experienced local seed experts who will work with you to help select top producing corn hybrids and soybean varieties tailored for your specific soils and fertility levels. Or visit us online at loganag.com. Logan AgriService, serving agriculture since 1960. Grab the game while your kids are busy. You know, streaming, gaming, and homework. Now you can teach your kids the value of a dollar by showing bundles with Cascom. Bundle telephone, internet, and TV. Bundle two for a double play or three for a triple play. Plus, save $20 a month for three months for a limited time. Then you can tell everyone how you help them with their math homework. Call Cascom about bundles today at 1-800-252-1799. Cascom at 1-800-252-1799. We welcome you back here on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports, getting you ready for the eighth grade Class 1A sectional between Griggsville Perry and Western. And for Great Rivers Bank with locations in Pittsfield, Perry, Liberty, and Hannibal, they're here to help you with your lending and personal banking needs. Friendly service and dedicated loan officers can help you through buying a home, opening a business, or making a deposit, member FDIC, and equal housing lender. Well, Damon, for the Griggsville Perry Eagles, this is a scene that... Uh, if you're a fan of the purple and gold, it's something you're accustomed to. Eagles have 34 appearances in the IESA State Series, trying to make it number 35, a list of trophies, a whole case deep, including four state championships. And uh, this is a team that has kind of had to get through some personal hurdles through the year, I think, Damon, to get here. But they've continued to work hard for Matt Hansen, and now they find themselves in an opportunity to make it to the big show. Yeah, this Eagles squad comes into this contest with a record of 16 and 10. And Brian, it's always a challenge in that junior high level because it's not uncommon, especially in small schools like these two schools we'll see here tonight in Griggsville, Perry, and Western, where you have younger kids that have to step up and play varsity or varsity eighth grade basketball. So at times you're going to see where maybe some of your sixth and seventh graders are stepping up to playing eighth grade so they're not playing a full game at the seventh grade level or they play more in the seventh grade level because it's a big game. So it's always when you get to postseason managing who you want out on the floor, but you're having to gel at times too a little bit there because kids may not play as much in the eighth grade level with playing down under. There's not the quarters restriction anymore that there was at one time. But, you know, this is a program that's had its 
fair share of success throughout the years. Head coach Matt Hansen has been in charge of the program now. I believe this is his fourth season in charge, and Matt's done a good job. We see him when he's not coaching at the, J or at the junior high level, sitting on the bench with head coach Garrett White of the Griggsville Perry High School squad. So a lot of experience here for Matt, but you know, there's always nerves when you come into a sectional championship game with a chance to go to the state tournament, whether you're a fan, a player, or a coach. You're going to see some guys tonight like Knox Dunham, a seventh grader in the starting lineup who has played a lot of quarters that you talk about, Damon. It's not been uncommon for Knox to log six or seven quarters here tonight, and he puts a lot of minutes in on the floor. Always a hardworking Dunham, just like almost any Dunham that we know in the Griggsville Perry area. Always hardworking, and Knox is a really talented seventh grade guard. We'll expect to see him with some ball handling duties here tonight. Kaysen Brown is one of those guys, an eighth grader, Damon, you've talked about. He's got a lot of experience. Helped knock down one of those big shots there a couple of years ago when the Eagles claimed third place in their last state tournament appearance here a couple of years ago. Rounding out that starting five, it's going to be guys like Eli Musgrave, Mason Lipkeman, who is the younger Lipkeman of the Lipkemans that we all rave about right now in Tornado Land. But the big guy you're going to keep an eye out tonight, number 32, the big guy in the forward is Quentin Booker, and that's going to be the man that they have all eyes on tonight if you're on the Wildcat side. Yeah, and the big key here, whether it is, you know, your guy that handles the ball most of the time or your post player down low in Booker, staying out of foul trouble, managing those nerves. Don't try to do anything you haven't done during the regular season, Brian. There's a reason why you've been able to get here, so stick to what works and just play within yourself. Play your game and hope that that works out best for you. I mean, that's that's what got here, so you can't go changing things or trying to do things that, you know, if you're a post player down low, don't go out and try to shoot or handle the basketball. If you're a guard, do the same things that you've done all year long, but just use those first few minutes of the game to really calm your nerves and work your way into the contest. Griggsville Perry has several losses to some 2A schools, only a couple of losses this season to 1A schools. Augusta Southeastern, who will be playing for a seventh grade third place trophy coming up on Thursday night at East Peoria, along with Jacksonville, our savior. Griggsville Perry defeated AC Central in the quarterfinals of the regional 49-19, um, defeated Jacksonville, our savior 34-16, and defeated Augusta Southeastern in the regional championship 39-13 to make their way here tonight. You're watching the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. When we come back, we'll tell you about their opponents tonight. In the black jerseys will be the Western Wildcats. Don't go anywhere. You're watching junior high basketball on Central Illinois Sports. I like hard work. I mean, I kind of was raised that way. You really do make a difference. You're, you're helping ship out food to feed people. Someone's got to do it, and I don't mind doing the hard work of it, you know. That gives me meaning, and I do go home rewarded. Every time I drop off a pallet, it's kind of corny, but I look back at it with a sense of pride. I'm like, yep, I built that, it looks awesome, and then I just drive away. I love it. When my life needed meaning, I chose Doc. We do a procedure called a transcatheter aortic valve replacement, and we call it TAVR. TAVR is state of the art. It wasn't really available worldwide until the early 2000s. It's a minimally invasive procedure in order to replace the valve. I'm number one. I was number 100. Years ago, they would have to do open heart surgery, and now they don't. Had I not had it done, I would not be here today. I feel like I'm living on a bonus of blessings. Are you short on time or budget, but your family is hungry? It's time for the Maya Authentic Mexican Restaurant in Pittsfield. Try the Maya Special, a crowd favorite. Delicious grilled fajitas, steaks, nachos Mexicano, salads in the tortilla bowl, the tastiest salsa and cheese sauce around, and the fastest service anywhere. You can afford it. It's the Maya Mexican Restaurant on Washington Street. Call ahead with your order and you can pick it up in the drive through 217-285-4526. The Maya Restaurant restaurant in Pittsfield. Welcome you back here to the Great Rivers Bank pregame show live from Virginia High School where it's going to be the Griggsville Perry Eagles taking on the Western Wildcats and Damon Western Wildcats a team that uh, normally find themselves in 2A competition when it comes to the postseason but a couple of smaller classes have dropped them down to 57 students. The cutoff for 1A here is 75 and now they find themselves in a position to bring their boys basketball team to something they haven't been in in quite a while, and that's the um, IESA State Tournament. They haven't been since 2016, and they think they've got the team to do it here tonight. Yeah, Western hasn't placed since 2001. They placed in both 7th and 8th back in the days of Coy Boehner, Derek Harris, and that group. But this is a Western squad that's got a lot of talent, and they've got a guy that's uh, their head coach in Gary Nation. Gary's been a long-time 
member of the Barry now Western basketball community. We saw him sit on the bench for many years at the high school level. Gary's a seasoned veteran. And the thing about him is he's not going to get too worked up, and he's great for these kids as far as the way he, he can communicate and teach. And when you look at this Western squad, you know, you're going to talk about Brody Boehner. Then you're also going to see Colin Forbes and Riley Kendrick out on the floor, Noah Fessler, Hunter Having. You're going to see some guys that like to get up and down the floor. And for them, the big key is, as we talked about with Greg Perry, can you stay out of foul trouble? Maintain the nerves. Stay calm. Go out and just have fun. I mean, we talked earlier for two schools that are 15 miles apart. Crazy that they haven't matched up yet this season. Weather obviously playing a factor. Had some early season issue or, you know, a loss. One of our schools lost one of their students that impacted the schedule there for the Griggsville Perry tournament. So traveled all the way to Virginia for two Pike County schools to play, but it's going to be a good matchup. It's going to be a fun one here tonight that we're lucky to carry for you here on Central Illinois Sports. If you ask all the Hoops Oracles, they feel this is a pretty evenly matched up grouping here between two teams. We expect it to be a fun one here tonight. We're glad you're joining us alongside on Central Illinois Sports. We remind you that we'll have exclusive coverage of the seventh grade state championship games coming up on Thursday. We'll have crews at all four sites. If you have not subscribed yet, we'll tell you how to do that during the broadcast. Don't be scared. We're going to step aside for the national anthem and introductions. When we come back, it's the Farm and Home starting lineups. You are watching the Class 8th grade 1A sectional live from Virginia. It's Central Illinois sports coverage of the junior high sectional. Since 1921, Farmer State Bank of Camp Point has been a vital part of our community's history. We are proud of our growth, our community leadership, and our success, which is only possible because of all those who shared this journey with us. We are grateful to the generations of loyal customers, families, businesses, employees, officers, and directors who have shaped not only our story, but our entire communities. Thank you. We look forward to serving you and your future generations for the next 100 years. Farmer State Bank and Camp Point. Together, we are a strong United community. Make your dream kitchen and bath a reality with help from Pike County Lumber. We'll create a design to fit your lifestyle and your needs. Quartz countertops, quality onyx that offers dozens of colors. From start to finish, trust the knowledge and experience at Pike County Lumber. Griffin Signs in Time at 122 South 9th Street in Quincy is a full-service sign company that can complete any project from fully wrapping your entire fleet of vehicles, digital signs, storefronts, to creating small banners and signs. The right and professional signage is the difference of getting the job, heading folks in the correct direction to find you, or creating a brand recognition for potential customers. Put the right signs in your customer's mind with Griffin Signs in Time. Call 217-228-7470. As a new hunting season begins, we observe a species most rare, the Hunter Incompetus. The hunting ritual begins. Already, he stakes his claim by bringing a duck call to a deer hunt. Disaster strikes. A devastating blow to a long-suffering species. There may be no helping the Hunter Incompetus, but for everyone else, no other place has it all like farm and home supply. Come on, make me up some. Welcome you back. It's time for the Farm and Home starting lineups from Farm and Home. Snacks, hoodies, power tools, and lawn chairs. No other place has it all like your local Farm and Home Supply. Go see them now and get yourself prepped because spring is not too far away. It's time for the starting lineups. With the call here is Damon Emmer. Well, first off, the starting lineups for the visitors on the scoreboard in this one, the Western Wildcats. They come into this contest with a record of 15 and 8 under the direction of head coach Gary Nation. They will start. Eight, eighth grader, number one, Brody Boehner. Uh, another eighth grade, number 11, Colin Forbus. And Riley Kendrick will also be in the starting lineup. He wears number 13. Number 22, Hunter Having. And number 34, Noah Fessler, round out the starting lineup for the Wildcats. Boehner, Forbus, Kendrick, Having, and Fessler. And for the Griggsville Perry Eagles, under the direction of Matt Hansen, they come into this contest with a record of 16 and 10. At one guard, he is an eighth grader, Eli Musgrave. At another guard position, an eighth grader, Kaysen Brown. And at the third guard position, a sixth grader, Mason Lipman. In the middle, an eighth grader, Quentin Booker. And at the fourth guard position, a seventh grader, Knox Dunham. Musgrave, Brown, Lipman, Booker, and Dunham will start for the Eagles and Brian. 
if you're the IESA, you have to be ecstatic that either Griggsville Perry or Western is going to be going to the state tournament because look at the crowd on both sides here. We've got a full crowd here behind us on the uh, stage side, if you would, of Virginia. On the opposite side in the regular bleachers, it is uh, – a good 50 to 60% packed here, and we'll expect to see a few fans trickle in here right at the end. Damon Book Emmerich's got the yep. call. Here we go. Booker to jump for Griggsville Perry. Forbes to jump for Western. And we're underway. Tip is up, and it is going to be tracked down by Case and Brown. Brown across the time stripe. Looks like Western will come out in a 1-3-1. Right wing Booker. He skips it to Dunham. Dunham will get it across for it. That's the lift win. Left wing to Brown. One dribble, skips it down low. Booker shot up and good. Gregville Perry takes the early 2-0 advantage on their first possession of the ball game. Really nice find to Booker. Not really an easy pass to make, but the lane was there and they got it. Here's a turnover. Booker with the steal. He's still got it. Goes coast to coast, skips it. Left wing, Brown falling out of bounds, gets it to Dunham. Dunham skips it right wing. That's to Lipkin. Down low, Booker fights through contact, shot up and good. Gregville Perry, four quick points. And the tornado, or the Eagles are out and going. And it's a 1-3-1 against a 1-3-1 here. It's left wing, that's Forbes for the Wildcats. He picks up his dribble, gets it down low. That's to Kendrick. Kendrick couldn't get the shot off because it's, he was fouled. And he'll go to the line to shoot two after being fouled by Eli Musgrave. Foul's going to go against Musgrave. It's his first team first of the contest as you get a look at the last basket from Quentin Booker. And it'll be a 4-0 lead here as the Wildcats go to the free throw line for the first time. And looking for the first point of the evening for the Wildcats, Riley Kendrick. First one for him is up and good. Illini Community Hospital serving the community since 1942 with health care services, primary specialty, emergency medicine, and more. Learn more online at IlliniHospital.org. Second free throws up and good. It's a 4-2 basketball game. Kendrick gets them both. Griggsville Perry quickly with the sideline break into the front court. Musgrave's pass deflected almost all the way, and it is. Stolen away by Kendrick. He gets it into the front court. That's Forbes. Forbes loses it out of bounds, but it was deflected by one of the Eagles, so it will be Wildcat basketball. They will inbound underneath their own bucket. Only two possessions in here, Damon, but Western looks a little hustled here on offense. They might need to slow things down just to get and uh, get, get the air out of their lungs here just a second. Yeah, and it's always tough when the biggest player out on the floor, Quentin Booker, is the man out top in a zone, so it just takes a little bit to get accustomed to. Western has it right now. Forbes going to skip it right wing. Boehner, his three-pointer is on its way, and it rattles home, and it is good. 5-0 run for Western. Boehner's got his first three, and we've got our first lead change of the contest. Lipman into the front court to Dunham. Dunham gets it left wing. That's to Brown. He'll find a Booker left baseline. Shot fake for him. Put it on the floor, but he'll take a step. And it's a turnover against Griggsville Perry. That's their second. Western has the basketball and the lead. 5-4. Wildcats took their first lead on the last possession on a Brody Boehner. Three into the front court. Kendrick, he's going to put the ball on the floor. Picks it up baseline. Deflected away, but Fessler tracks it down. He gets it to Boehner, right wing, skips it down low. Kendrick shot up and good. Nice find right there by Boehner, and that was actually Colin Forbes on that bucket. Forbes with his first two, and Western has their largest lead of the ball game at three. Lipkeman skips it left wing. That's to Brown. Gets it to Musgrave, free throw line. Back to Brown, corner to Booker. He'll put it on the floor, attack the bucket. His shot up and good. Booker's got all six of Griggsville Perry's points. They now trail 7-6 as we're at the 3.30 mark of the first quarter. Musgrave with the steal for Griggsville Perry, pushes it quickly into the front court, picks up his dribble, gets it to Lipquin, out top to Dunham. Dunham skips it left wing. Nice catch by Hunter Brown right there. Puts it on the floor, gets it to Dunham. Thought about the three, doesn't take it. And Dunham's going to circle it back out to reset the offense. He'll find Lipquin. Gets it to Booker. Booker's pass is almost deflected, but Dunham gets it. Left wing, Case and Brown, three up and good. Offensive rebound, Lipkin. He'll get it to Musgrave, who gets it back out to Dunham. Looks to reset the offense. Dunham will get it to Musgrave. Hands it off to Lipkin. Right baseline, Booker. Booker puts it on the floor. Kicks it out to Dunham. He'll find left wing, Brown. Thought about the three, doesn't take it. Picks up his dribble. Dunham's going to run it down before it can be stolen away. Pass down low to Booker. It's going to be knocked out of bounds, and it will remain 
Griggsville Perry basketball. Both teams really trying to find that opportunity, Damon, on the weak side block as those zones shift just a little bit. And that's one of those hard things for younger players to learn when you're on the baseline of that zone is to keep your eye open. Booker got it into Brown. Brown shot went down and out. No good. Griggsville Perry still trails 7-6 as Fessler brings the basketball into the front court. He's going to be fouled by Dunham attacking the bucket. For Dunham, it's going to be his first team second of the contest here for Griggsville Perry. It'll be Western ball out of bounds underneath their own hoop with 234 left in the first. Inbound man for the Wildcats is Kendrick. He gets it to Boehner, left wing. That's to Fessler, one dribble out top to Boehner. Saw Boehner knock down a three from earlier, so definitely want to keep him guarded. Pass thrown at the official's head. He shielded himself before Forbes grabbed the bucket or grabbed the ball. And Boehner's got it out top with 2.15 to play. He'll hand it off. That's to Forbes. Finds free throw line extended. That's Fessler. Spin move right wing out to Boehner. His three pointer is going to be no good. Rebound's going to be deflected out of bounds off the hand of Western. So Lee Griggsville Perry basketball trailing 7 6. Chance to give us our second lead change of the ball game if they can score on this possession. Booker has it for Griggsville Perry. He attacks the bucket. Shot for him is going to be blocked by Kendrick. And Boehner brings it into the front court for Western. He gets it to Fessler. Fessler's going to lose the ball out of bounds. That'll be a turnover against Western. That's their third. Really high energy game right now on both sides, Damon. Re Eagles doing a really nice job defensively trying to shut off that baseline here in the early going. Yeah, Griggsville Perry's got Booker out top. Western obviously knows that's the man that Griggsville Perry's going to look to score most of their points. So they've got to get a little bit more crisp on their passes a little bit quicker. As we see Brown get it down low to Booker, he does a nice job to grab it. Attack the bucket, he's going to be fouled on the shot. So he'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul's going to go against number 22, Hunter Having. It's going to be his first, team first of the contest here as Booker heads to the free throw line for the first time. Six points, all six of the Eagles' points coming so far. First one is up out of the right hand, off the right side of the rim, and no good. We remind you about Bowler's Universe, Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m., 10 p.m., Fridays to midnight, and Saturdays, 4 to midnight. Burgers, fries, specialty pizzas, and those delicious craft beers. Come enjoy the fun at Bowler's Universe in Pittsfield. Booker can't get the second one to go either. Rebounds into the hands of Kendrick. He gets it off to Fassler, who crosses the time stripe. Gets it back to Kendrick, left wing. Boehner thought about the three, doesn't take it. Instead gets it down low to Havings, and then Havings going to be fouled by Booker. Booker's going to pick up the foul. That's going to be his first, team third already against Griggsville Perry. One more foul to go before Western gets in the bonus. Inbound man for the Wildcats is Kendrick. Gets it out top to Boehner. Nice job going for the basketball right there for Boehner to prevent the steal. Left wing. That's to Forbes. He gets it back out top to Boehner. And Fessler, one dribble shot up for him, is up and no good. Rebound is going to be fought for. And over the back will be Riley Kendrick. Nice job there by Musgrave to body up and get position for that rebound right there. Kendrick will pick up his first. It's the second of the quarter against the Wildcats. Nice job boxing out by Eli Musgrave. Griggsville Perry with the basketball, trailing 7-6 with just under a minute to play. In this one, Dunham with the basketball, gets it to Brown, left wing. His pass is kicked, so it will remain Gregsville Perry basketball. 52.2 seconds to play. Western's got a lot of nice size here, Damon. Really not exceptionally big physical kids, but just tall, long arms, lanky legs. They're going to get a lot of hands and feet, apparently, in the passing lanes here tonight. Yeah, they do a good job right there, and they, they understand gap assignments here on their basketball floor as Booker's going to put the ball on the floor. Nobody steps in front of him. Turno or a lead change to Number two, Booker's got eight. He's got all eight. And Griggsville Perry's back out in front, eight to seven. Fessler's going to get it left wing. That's to Forbes. He'll get it down low. That's Kendrick. His shot is up and no good. Musgrave with another rebound for Griggsville Perry. And he'll get it off to Dunham. As Griggsville Perry will look to hold for one with 20 seconds left to play here in quarter number one. Western will have the basketball to start the second quarter. As Lipsman has it, gets it to Brown with 10. He'll get it right wing. That's to Booker. Holds it high above his head. He'll attack the baseline. Looks to get it to Brown. Pass is going to be deflected out of bounds. It'll be Griggsville Perry basketball. 4.4 seconds left here in quarter number one. Griggsville Perry with the 8-7 lead. And 
Dunham will be the inbound man for the Eagles. Dunham looks to get it in, finally gets Booker. Kicks it back out, Dunham, one dribble, his shot is up and no good. And that's how we will end quarter number one. After one quarter, Griggsville Perry eight, Western seven, back with second quarter play-by-play -play in a minute. I have to speak to you about something that is uh, concerning me. Heard you and your mother talking about this Arlo fella. You're dating someone? Yeah. Dad, Arlo's the name of the new security cameras that we got from our service provider. Mm. Arlo's not a boy. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, not a boy. Apparently, we just learned that. It's a camera named after a boy. Why don't you name it Peter? for second quarter action here between Western and Griggsville Perry. We had to wake up the production truck as they were not operating the scoreboard there for a little while. We got that fixed thanks to those of you that reached out. And it'll be Wildcats basketball here as we start the second quarter. Brody Boehner has it and he'll look to bring it out top to set an offense. His pass is gonna be deflected, stolen away. Turnover number four. Brown with it into the front court. He finds Lipswin streaking to the bucket. Shot up for him was no good but he'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Get the, uh, I think the foul, foul should have yeah, been on 13. That's what I was thinking here. I think they just needed a second to discuss it here. Yes, foul's going to go whistle against 13. That's going to be Riley Kendrick. That is his second of the ball game, Damon. First of the quarter here against the Wildcats. As stepping to the line is Mason Lipkman. First one's in and out of the rim. No good. We remind you about Pike County Express, your locally owned, family owned newspaper. Pike County since 1991. Robin and the team putting out issues each Wednesday. Check them out at a new stand near you. Hudson Mass will enter the ball game for the first time for the Wildcats. He will replace Kendrick, who goes to the bench with those two fouls. Lipkman can't get the second free throw to go either. Rebound tipped around, fought for, and ultimately controlled by Fessler. Fessler gets it to Forbes, who brings it into the front court. And down low, Having has it. Having's going to kick it out top. That's to Fessler, left wing Forbes. Forbus is going to use the screen, get it back to Fessler. He's going to attack the bucket. His shot is up and good. Fessler's got another two. That's his first two of the ball game. We've got our third lead change of the contest, and it's Griggsville Perry across the time stripe. And, Brian, it looks like what we've seen here is Western's going into a soft man-to-man -man and almost like a matchup zone is what it looks like. As Cason Brown's going to get the basketball, he'll get it to Booker. Booker's shot is up and no good. Rebound is going to be fought for, and Booker is going to be whistled for the foul. That's a big one right there for Griggsville Perry. Is that's Booker's second. Booker's going to pick up the second. Checking in for Griggsville Perry is going to be Logan Sidwell, number five, as Booker will get a breather here with 4.49 left to go. It's 9-8, to eight, Western leading on the PCRE real estate and auction scoreboard. And Wildcats have the basketball. Fessler's going to get it right wing. That's to Forbes. Skips it cross court to Boehner. Boehner gets it down low to Mass. He's going to attack the bucket. His shot is up and no good, but Mass is going to go to the line to shoot two as he was fouled by Knox Dunham. I believe that's Dunham's second. Yeah, for Dunham, that's going to be his second as well. Some key players now picking up a couple of fouls here for Griggsville Perry as the first free throw is up and good. Nice job by Mass right there. Just checked in off the bench for Western. Sat the first quarter plus, but he goes to the line, misses the second one. The Western's lead is now 10 to 8. And Dunham with the rebound, and he pushes it into the front court for Griggsville Perry. His pass is going to be kicked, deflected out of bounds. It will remain Griggsville Perry basketball. And this size for Western on the defensive end is causing some problems. Head coach Gary Notion, Nation wants to take a timeout. We'll take it to Griggsville Perry trails Western 8-10. It's an Adams Network timeout.
Well, Western took that timeout. They've got the 10-8 lead. Griggsville Perry has the basketball coming out of the timeout. And Griggsville Perry gets it down low to Booker. Booker checked back in with those two fouls. He'll kick it out top. That's to Cason Brown. Left wing knocks Dunham. Three-pointer up. And no good. It hit the top of the backboard. Nothing called. Down low. Booker shot up and good. He'll go to the line to shoot the and one as he was whistled or he was fouled on the play by Forbes. Forbes will pick up the foul. It's going to be his first team second. Booker gets the basket. Give him 10 now. Sidwell will check back in if Booker makes the free throw. Shot is up and no good. Rebound comes down into the hands of Mason Lipkin. Lipkin will get it out top to Dunham. Griggsville Perry will look to reset their offense and try to give us another lead change in this one. Baseline, that's Cason Brown out top to Lipkin. One dribble, gets it to Booker. Right wing, Cason Brown thought about the three, doesn't take it. Gets it down low to Booker. His shot up and good. Booker's got 12, all 12 of Griggsville Perry. We've got another lead change in the ball game. As Western quickly into the front court. Brian, we talked about it during the timeout, but Western's just had really good ball movement. They've found the gaps in the zone, and they've taken advantage. And right now they're looking to do the same, and they need to try to attack Booker, who's out on the floor with two fouls. Yeah, they've really been moving well too, Damon. A lot of uh, rotations here where there's just a lot of motion. You see it right now, starting to flash, trying to find open spots here, and they try that weak pass again, and it gets stolen away now though by Brown. Yeah, I got the man stuck down in the corner. His pass was stolen away down low. Lipman's shot was no good, but Kaysen Lipman or Mason Lipman will go to the line to shoot two, and he was fouled by Forbes. Forbes is gonna get his second. It's gonna be the third now of the quarter against Western with 3.12 left to go here as Mason Lipkeman heads to the free throw line. We remind you about RealNet and Twine, located just north of Pittsfield across from the airport. Your local headquarters for concrete, lawn ornaments, statues, fountains, and so much more. Give them a call at 217-285-5013 for RealNet and Twine. And we'll see on the after the first free throw, Quentin Booker and Knox Dunham will go to the bench for Griggsville Perry with their two fouls. Checking into the ballgame for the first time was Preyton Shoemaker. Logan Sidwell also back into the contest for Griggsville Perry. Lipkman's second free throw was no good. Fessler quickly got the rebound, pushes into the front court. His pass is off. No Shot is no good for having. He got the offensive rebound. It was no good. Got the offensive rebound again, and then he was fouled on the shot by Shoemaker. So having will go to the line to shoot two for Western. <coughs> as they've got the 13-10 deficit, having first free throw attempt on the way. And it is no good. Dunham and Booker check back in for the Eagles as Sidwell and Shoemaker will go to the bench. And at the line for Western, Hunter having one free throw attempt to go. His shot is up and good. Having first point of the contest. And it'll be Eagles basketball. Just halfway through the second quarter, Griggsville Perry with the 13-11 lead. Knox Dunham, three-point fake, puts it on the floor. He'll kick it out to Musgrave. Back to Dunham. Holds it high above his head, puts it on the floor. He'll skip it left wing. That's to Lipkin. Put it on the floor, try to attack baseline. And he'll be fouled by having on the drive. Having is going to pick up his second foul of the ball game. Now you've got Having, Kendrick, and Forbus Damon all with two fouls here, and we'll see what Gary Nation does in his bench if he's got anybody to pull off early as it's 14 fouls now against the Wildcats. Well, we saw Kendrick on the bench already with those two fouls. Cason Brown inbounds it to Dunham. Dunham's going to skip it back left wing. Cason Brown, three-point on the way, is up and good. And cason has got his first three. And Griggsville Perry's going to take a timeout after that three. We'll take it to Griggsville Perry 16, Western 11. It's an Adams Network timeout. United Community Bank has been serving our community in banking since 1973 and is a proud member of the Pittsfield Strong United Community. UCB brings you the latest banking technology, security, and convenience you expect. Delivered with friendly local service you deserve from your community bank. UCB invites you to stop in for a visit at number one professional plaza in Pittsfield or you can find them online at ucbbank.com. United Community Bank, the leader of community banking, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Sign up for a Saki Rewards debit card. 
We come back on the Adams Fiber timeout, providing the ultimate internet experience with Wi-Fi 6 and internet package speeds up to one gigabit. That means you'll never buffer while you're watching junior high basketball on Central Illinois Sports. Visit followthefiber.net to learn more. Well, it'll be Wildcat basketball coming out of the Grigsville Perry timeout. Matt Hansen took that timeout to get Booker and Dunham back on the bench with those two fouls. Boehner with the basketball for the Wildcats, looks to get it down low. Nice job there by having to track it down. Sidwell is going to come away with the rebound for Grigsville Perry. That's his first. And the Eagles bring the ball into the front court, approaching the two-minute mark of the first half. They've got the 16-11 lead. And Brian, right now, all but four, or all, yeah, but four of your points are on the bench right now for Grigsville Perry and Quentin Booker. Well, and you see Matt Hansen kind of slowing things down, recognizing the situation, and, and we'll see if the uh, Eagles can play a little patient basketball here with this possession. Musgrave well, picked up the dribble out top, gets it to Lipkin. Lipkin will get it to Cason Brown, who will bring it out. With a minute 30 to play, Matt Hansen trying to direct his squad, lets them know what offense they want to be in. Brown thought about the three, picks up the dribble, and then shuffled his feet before he could get the pass off. It's a turnover against Grigsville Perry. It's their third. Well, what they're wanting to do when you get into that zone, they're trying to find somebody at the free throw line in the elbow, and sometimes, Damon, those lanes open and they close just as quickly, and you just that split second of hesitation leads to the turnover. Yep, and that was just the third turnover of the ball game, and you can live with the dead ball turnovers if you're a coach, and Western's going to have a turnover and then a foul right there against, that'll be against Colin Forbes. That's Forbes' third, team foul number five. So it will be free throws to the other end, and that'll be Mason Lipkeman to shoot the free throws for Grigsville Perry. Want to thank everybody that was able to tune in to this ball game. Not many folks left in Grigsville Perry or Barry or Kinderhook, Kinderhook, New Canton, yeah. wherever they're at. But if you are watching, we're glad you're tuning alongside here with yeah. us as uh, Kaysen Brown's going to step to the free throw line here for the first time tonight in a bonus situation. First one's up, rolls in and out of the rim, no good. Substituting in now for Western, Kendrick comes back in as Forbes will take a seat here with three fouls. They'll get some rotation around the lane assignments. And Kendrick comes in with those two fouls. Grigsville Perry struggling from the free throw line in this one. Cason Brown gets the second to go. He splits a pair. The six-point lead for the Eagles is their largest of the contest. Fessler will bring the ball into the front court for the Wildcats. Gets it off to Boehner. His three-point attempt is no good. Fessler with the offensive rebound. Out top, that's Boehner. He's being closely guarded by Shoemaker. And Preyton Shoemaker will be whistled for the foul. That's his second. Team foul number four of the quarter. So it'll be free throws for the last minute three here of the half for both squads. Kendrick will inbound for Western. He's going to get it into Fessler. Right wing, that's Boehner, holds it high above his head. And he'll skip it out top. That's to Fessler. Fessler puts it on the floor. Nobody stopped him yet. He's going to attack the bucket. Ball's going to be deflected, stolen away. Brown with the steal. That's the sixth turnover against Western. Brown still has it. He'll attack the bucket. Shot up for him is no good. Having with the rebound for Western. He'll get it off to Fessler. He'll bring it into the front court with 30 seconds to play here in the first half. Boehner uses the screen from Fessler, gets it left wing, that's to Kendrick. He'll skip it cross court. Boehner doesn't take the three, instead passes it down low to Having. Nice job right there by Having to get the easy layup. Cuts into his team's deficit. It's 17-13, 18.8 seconds to play. Grigsville Perry takes a timeout. We'll take it to Grigsville Perry 17, Western 13. It's an Adams Network timeout. Camp Point Central Sports are proud to have Dew Wester Grain as a sponsor of this broadcast. Dew Wester Grain, there for you for all your grain and feed needs. Why don't you give them a call and check out all the locations of Dew Wester Grain. With locations in Golden, Paloma, Mount Sterling, Clayton, La Prera, Liberty, Industry, Carthage, and Blandonsville. For more information, call Dear Wester Grain Services, 696-4461. That's 696-4461 or on the web at DearWesterGrain.com. 18.8 seconds to play. Grigsville Perry with the basketball coming out of the timeout. They're going to try to get one shot here to end the half. Dunham and Booker back into the ballgame for Grigsville Perry. And with 10 seconds to play, Mason Lipkin gets it left wing. That's Cason Brown. He's going to look back door, gets it to Booker. His puts it on the floor instead of going right up with it. And then Booker 
is lucky there as Fessler loses the basketball. Booker might have got away with a reach in, but it'll be Eagles basketball. 3.4 seconds to play in the half. Eagles inbound underneath their own bucket. Brown to inbound, gets it to Booker. Booker down low, shot up, no good, but he's gonna be fouled on the shot. That's by Fessler. For Fessler, that's gonna be his team first, or his first personal, excuse me, as Booker's gonna head back to the free throw line here. He's uh, 0 for 3 right now, Damon, from the free throw line. 12 points of the uh, Eagles 17 here in the first quarter. First shot is up and good. Give him a Baker's dozen. You know the scoreboard clock's moved around a little bit. We've got it on the rail here, and the fans are pretty excited here in this one. We'll see if we can adjust that at the half. We'll see if we can make, a, make something work here. Second free throw up from Booker is good. He's got 14. And before he can get the shot off, it is going to be the end of the first half. At the half, Griggsville Perry 19, Western 13. That takes us to the Little Jess Motors halftime show. When we come back, we'll give you some of the first half stats and analysis from this one. Glad to have you tuning along. This is another game here on Central Illinois Sports. There's a road that makes all the difference. The difference between the good and the great. A road less traveled for the few who can handle the grind. One of hard work, dedication, integrity, and leadership. With a respect for heritage and tradition and a willingness to adapt. At Little Jess, we travel that road every day because we believe in that difference. And we dare our competition to try and keep up. Little Jess, serving the tri-state area since 1969. GSI Grain Mints maximize your profitability from the initial site to developing your custom grain storage plan to the completion of the project. Mixer Lumber Company, we will be with you every step of the way. Mixer Lumber Company, your trusted GSI Grain Bin dealer. Best Systems Insulators offer insulation for homes and commercial buildings throughout Central Illinois and the surrounding areas. We take great care to ensure that the insulation products we use are the best fit for our clients and their projects. We understand that different buildings have different needs and that each of our clients has a unique set of goals. Let us work with you to find the best solution for your next project. Call Best Systems Insulators at 217-285-6005. That's 285-6005. Or visit them online at Go Best Systems. Is predator hunting your thing? Game Masters has you covered. We have way more than just deer and turkey hunting gear, safes, clothes, and gifts. Come check out our predator guns, calls, decoys, lights, traps, binoculars, bipods, tripods, and shooting sticks. Don't forget your thermal and night vision, rifle scopes, trapping equipment, and supplies. Whether your next game pursuit is big or small, runs or flies, Game Masters has what you need to get the job done. We're passionate about the outdoors. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You've heard that phrase many times in Rod Prentice in Pittsfield. Your State Farm agent is the guy you can count on to be your friend and neighbor in the insurance business. He has a complete line of insurance available for you from State Farm Insurance. You can reach him at 217-285-6930. Our family trusts Rod Prentice with all of our insurance needs. Stop by their office on Washington Street and see the girls in Rod Prentice, your State Farm agent, 217-285-6930. At Full Throttle Parts, we do spray on bed liners, a brand called Patriot Liner. It is very elite. It actually enhances the resale value of anything you put it on, on or off road. Go Full Throttle! Go Full Throttle. Welcome you back here on the Little Jess Motors Halftime Show. Little Jess Motors, your place to go for your next vehicle purchase. Their staff is committed to making the car buying process simple and making sure each customer's needs are satisfied. You can learn more online at littlejessmotor.com or stop by and see them at 3431 Main Street in Quincy. It's a fun one here so far as the Griggsville Perry Eagles lead the Western Wildcats 19-13 at halftime of our eighth grade 1A sectional championship. Winner goes on to play at Warrensburg Latham coming up Saturday morning at 1130. They will face the winner of the game between Mendota Holy Cross and Streeter Woodland. 
One of us will have that game, Damon. Somebody from Central Illinois Sports will have it because we're covering all four classes of junior high state tournament action coming up this weekend. And uh, you can learn more on how to subscribe to that service by visiting our Central Illinois Sports channel on YouTube or visiting centralillinoisports.com because Charlie Hull's got everything you need to know about how to get signed up. Another Saturday, another 24 games coming to you live on Central Illinois Sports. Cost $14.99 to get in, and I know what you're saying. By, by gosh, Brian, that's, a, that's something to pay. Well, I'll tell you what, it costs $10 alone just to walk in the gate at the state tournament, not to mention the gas you're going to put on your car, not to mention some food, drinks, and everything else. So $14.99 or whatever it costs you to go there, it's your choice. And if you subscribe tonight, you can watch the seventh grade state championship action on Thursday. Exactly. You'll be locked in for the seventh grade games. That's at all four classes, whatever you want. Put one on your tablet, one on your TV. One on your cell phone, whatever your favorite screen is, that's how you can watch here. We will remind you also, Charlie and Jack are down at Pittsfield tonight as the Camp Point Central Panthers take on the Pittsfield Sockies in what should be a nice varsity contest. So after this one is wrapped up, be sure to tune in to Charlie and Jack and the whole gang as they'll be live from Voschel tonight as Camp Point Central is playing, I believe it's um, fifth game in six nights, Damon. They'll wrap that up tomorrow night as they will take on a good Illini West team. But... Right now, about halfway through our halftime break here, we'll step aside for a minute of sponsors. We'll come back and tell you more. The halftime scoring and everything, you're watching the Little Chess Motors Halftime Show on Central Illinois Sports. For nearly 40 years, the Niebuhr Funeral Home has been serving our area with professionalism and compassion. This is our business, our hometown. You can be assured we take great personal pride in serving your family in your time of loss. We're locally owned. We're your friends and neighbors. We care about you and your family. Niebuhr Funeral Home, with locations in Pittsville and Barrie, serving our community with compassion and respect. Welcome to Douglas Automotive and Tire, your expert truck and car repair center in Pittsfield, Illinois. We provide full service from oil changes to new tires and everything in between. Contact us today to schedule service. We're located at 303 West Jefferson Street in Pittsfield, Illinois. Call 217-922-0064. That's 217-922-0064. Britain and the gang know cars, and if you need repairs, call Douglas Automotive today for all your repairs. Press Shears on You would like to wish all the area teams the best of luck this year. If you're looking to get your team shirts or just looking for spirit wear for yourself, remember Press Shears on You. We have over 1,400 square foot of retail space in our shop. Stop by and see us and check out our offerings. Business lets us help you promote your brand. Decoration methods we offer include screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. Thank you to everyone in our community for the support over the last 16 years. Thank you for supporting local. Press Shears on You, 506 Westwood. Camp Point, Illinois. Welcome you back on the Little Jess Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Halftime Show. Little Jess Jeep, the place to go for your next vehicle purchase or visit them online at 3431 Main Street in Quincy. Getting over some halftime stats for you here as the Eagles lead the Wildcats 19-13 in our 8th grade Class 1A sectional championship. On the side for Griggsville Perry, Cason Brown has four points. He's one of two from the free throw line. Mason Lipkeman has a point. He's one of three from the free throw line. The big man of the night here so far for the Eagles is Quentin Booker Damon. 14 points, two of six from the free throw line. That's something the Eagles might have to work on here in the second half, only shooting four for 11 from the charity stripe. And so far, Quentin Booker has been nearly impossible to stop. And um, it's something that if you're an Eagles fan, it's nice to see, but you also want to see a couple of other kids getting the scoring column. But if you're the Wildcats, you're sitting there thinking, we've got to focus on number 32 coming out of the halftime break. Well, I think if you're Matt Hanson, obviously one of the uh, things you talk about at the halftime was let's try to do a better job on our free throws. It's wasted opportunities there to get points when we're missing those. But you can also make that a positive of, hey, we've done a great job being aggressive and getting to the rim because we have gotten Western in foul trouble. Let's continue to do that in this second half of play. On the opposite side for Western, Brody Boehner has a three-pointer for three points. Hudson Moss is one of two from the free throw line for one point. Colin Forbes has a basket for two. Riley Kendrick is two of two from the free throw line. He's got two points. Hunter Having is one of two from the charity line. He's got a point. And Noah Fessler has a bucket for two points. The Wildcats, one, two, three, four, excuse me. We had that wrong. Four of six, Damon, from the charity stripe. And if you're the Wildcats, a lot of guys in the scoring column pretty balanced across the board, but nobody that has really taken off 
and gotten a good offensive rhythm here. The Wildcats have found a lot of opportunities, really attacking the block, really attacking the baseline, trying to find some opportunities to slide underneath. Haven't really hit a lot outside except from the 1-3 from Bainter. They haven't shot a lot of threes, though, either. But for Western, I think it's just an opportunity here to maybe honestly slow the basketball game down just a hair and really take your time to find a nice shot. You're only down by six here. There's a lot of time to, to figure the offense out in this ballgame. Well, and we saw Western had a lot of success early in that first half of play with Chris basketball movement. They were able to get some backdoor looks just by moving the ball so quick. They got Greg Perry's zone moving. So they've got to get back to that, and they need to be aggressive. Try to go down low and try to get Booker that third foul early on here in the first or the third quarter early in the second half and then see what can happen. Western's got to make sure they stay out of foul trouble here as well. Grigsville Perry will have the basketball coming out of the halftime break. Again, great crowd here. I want to thank all of you watching at home or at work or we know there's a group there from Grigsville Perry that couldn't make it to this ball game as they're getting their fast tonight out of the way. But great crowd here, Brian clock operator wasn't quite ready to get the uh, second half rolling but well, we're you know, ready to go there's now. some delicious pizza in that hospitality room and glad to see that Todd Bradshaw made it out of there as well to start the second half can barely see his just over the railing here we've got Todd Bradshaw there Griggsville Perry comes out of the half knocks Dunham with the basketball holds it high above his head Western comes back out in the 1-3-1 zone they started the game with Booker gets it he'll do a dribble handoff to Dunham Dunham's going to bring it back out top, gets it left wing to Booker. He'll skip it cross court. Mason Lufkin, three-pointer from him. It's on its way. No good. And out of bounds to Western. So Griggsville Perry had it for 30 seconds. Didn't score there. Western will have the basketball. Their first possession of the third quarter. Boehner's going to get it out top. That's to Fessler. He gets it down low to having. Having left wing. That's Kendrick. Kendrick, one dribble, kicks it out. Yeah, uh, ball's going to be knocked away, stolen away. Lipkin with it. He goes coast to coast. His shot is up and no good, but he's going to be fouled on the shot by Noah Fessler. For Fessler, it's going to be his second of the contest, team first of the quarter here against the Western Wildcats, as we'll show you that last steal and getting fouled on the play for Lipkin, and he'll head to the free throw line here in just a second. Lipkin's first free throw is up and good. Seven-point lead for the Eagles, their largest of the ball game. Brian, how many turnovers now for Western? Seven on, or excuse me, six on the night, or seven on the night now for the Western Wildcats. We'll get it right. And Lipkin at the line makes a pair, and it's a 21-13 lead for Griggsville Perry. And into the front court for the Wildcats comes Fessler. Fessler skips it across the court to Boehner, holds it high above his head, then puts the ball on the floor, looks to make a move. Splits a double team, gets it down low. Ball is going to be tied up. It will be a held possession, but it will remain Western basketball. Underneath their own bucket will be Kendrick. Kendrick's going to look to get it in. Still looking, finally gets it in left wing. That's to Forbus. Forbus puts it on the floor, attacks the bucket. His shot is up and no good. Booker with the rebound for Greg Hill Perry, and he's off and running. Quickly into the front court comes Booker, gets it to Brown down low, but Booker's tall, Brown not as tall as Booker, couldn't hold the pass. It's a turnover against Grigsville Perry, it's their fourth. Just physics and science, David. Yeah. Sometimes you're taller than the other guy and the ball goes over your head. And Grigsville Perry knocks Dunham, steps in front of a pass for a steal, brings it into the front court, gets it to Lipkin. Out top, that's to Musgrave, gets it right wing to Dunham. Dunham will pull it back out and look to reset the offense for Grigsville Perry. Gets it to Musgrave, right wing, that's to Brown. Brown back out top to Dunham, left wing, he'll get it to Lipman. Gets it to Booker, he puts it on the floor, attacks the bucket, shot up and good. And Quentin Booker will go to the line looking to complete the and one as he drew the foul against Hunter Having. And that'll be Having's third, second team foul of the quarter against Western. And Quentin Booker to the line, looking to complete the and one as you see Booker's layup on the Northwestern Mutual instant replay. Booker gets the and one to go. Grigsville Perry's up by 11. Western quickly into the front court. That's Boehner. Boehner has it stolen or knocked away from behind. Boehner got a little bit of contact there. No call. Turnover against Western. That's their ninth. 
Booker into the front court, gets it to Lipkin, to Musgrave, left wing, that's Brown, to Dunham. Dunham's going to put up the three, shot is up and no good. Rebound's going to be controlled by Fessler. He's going to push quickly into the front court. His ball's going to be knocked away, stolen away by Musgrave. Musgrave gets it to Brown, layup up and good. And Musgrave, nice job right there to get the ball out to Brown. Western wants a timeout. We'll take it to Griggsville Perry, 26, Western 13, 338 to play third quarter action. It's an Adams Network timeout. Timely application of crop nutrients based on soil test results and the individual yield goals is the focus of the agronomy team at Logan AgriService, Inc. Logan Ag delivers in hydrous ammonia, dry fertilizer, UAN, liquid starter, and our lineup of Logan Agri yield micronutrients direct from us to your field. Striving to get the right fertilizer products at the right place in the right field at the right time, that's Logan AgriService. For fertilizer and application services, call 1-800-LOGAN-AG or visit us online at loganag.com. Logan AgriService, serving agriculture since 1962. For nearly 40 years, the Niebuhr Funeral Home has been serving our area with professionalism and compassion. This is our business, our hometown. You can be assured we take great personal pride in serving your family in your time of loss. We're locally owned. We're your friends and neighbors. We care about you and your family. Niebuhr Funeral Home, with locations in Pittsville and Barrie, serving our community with compassion and respect. Western takes the Adams Network timeout for reliable, worry-free internet that doesn't buffer and can handle whatever life throws at you. Adams Fiber is local and provides the ultimate internet experience. Visit followthefiber.net to learn more. Well, we've seen Griggsville Perry come out of the halftime break, and they've been able to set up their 1-2-2 defense, whether it be full court or half court. Brody Boehner does a nice job right there. Rips the ball away from Booker, and then... We'll see a foul called against Musgrave. Gregville Perry getting aggressive there. Western trying to be aggressive and strong with the basketball. Nice job there to fight through the contact as Musgrave was whistled for his second foul of the ball game. And it will be Wildcats basketball looking for their first points of the half. Almost halfway through quarter number three. Fessler with the basketball right wing. He'll get it to Forbus. He's going to bring it back out. Look to reset the offense. He'll get it to Boehner. Boehner brings it back out behind the volleyball line. And fires a pass left wing. That's to Forbus. Forbus attacks the baseline. And he's going to be fouled on the drive by Booker. That'll be Booker's third foul. For Booker, it's going to be his third. It'll be the team's second of the quarter here against Griggsville Perry. It looks like Sidwell was going to check back in now. Matt Hansen might have to do a little offense defense here for a little bit with Quentin Booker to keep him in play. And Brian, that's a little bit easier to do if you're Matt Hansen when you do have a 13 point lead. Now obviously you can't afford to have Booker on the bench for too long if Western scores a few buckets, but Western's still looking for their first points of the half. And Forbes is gonna get the basketball. His shot is gonna be up and no good. Dunham with the rebound. He's got his head up high, he throws it length of the floor. Ball's gonna be knocked out of bounds. Nice job by Boehner to track that one down. And it'll be Eagles basketball. 2.49 to play. Booker will check back in on the dead ball. Booker again with those three fouls. What you're seeing, Damon, kind of the way Griggsville Perry playing right now, being a little more aggressive on the defensive side, looking for those long shots, is now a three-pointer on the way from Brown is no good and he's going to pick up the foul, but Griggsville Perry looks like they're going for the dagger here in the next couple of minutes. Yeah, Griggsville Perry's stepped up their defensive intensity, Brian, and that foul on the rebound attempt by Brown will be the third foul of the quarter against Griggsville Perry, but it will also allow Matt Hansen to put Booker back on the bench with those three fouls. We'll see Sidwell check back in, and Griggsville Perry with Booker on the bench is going to sag back into a 2-3 zone here. They really do change up their defense. It's in a zone almost the entire time, but they go back and forth between a 1-3-1 and a 2-3. Boehner attacked the bucket. His shot was up and no good. Fessler got the offensive rebound. His shot was no good. Forbus attacked the bucket. His shot was up and no good, but he was fouled on the drive. That's going to be whistled against Sidwell. For Sidwell, it'll be his first team fourth of the quarter against Griggsville Perry. It comes at 2:24 left here in the third. And Forbes is going to step to the free throw line. Just two points on the day. His first try at the free throw line is no good here tonight. Booker yeah. will check back in for Griggsville Perry. Booker in. Sidwell takes a seat. 2.24 to play here 
in the third quarter. Western looking for their first point of the quarter. It was 19-13 at half. Grigsville Perry leads 26-13 at the moment. Make it 26-14 as Forbes makes the second. Grigsville goes into their sideline break. And Brian, you and I haven't played for many years, but that sideline break's been in play for Grigsville Perry since long before you and I played. That's a fact, and three from uh, Dunham is up and no good. Rebound comes down, and it is grabbed, I believe, by uh, For Forbes. Thanks. Nice job, actually, there by Quentin Booker. He knew he didn't have position, didn't go over the back. Mason Lipkin with the steal. He's going to go coast to coast. Fights through the contact, no call, layup, up and good. lipkman has got another two. He's got five. Grigsville Perry's got the 28-14 lead. It's their largest of the ball game. And Fessler with the basketball for Western. A minute 45 to play here in the quarter. Forbus down low. His pass is going to be deflected and stolen away. Musgrave with the steal. He gets Lipkman streaking coast to coast. His shot is no good. He's fouled. He goes down hard. And hopefully he gets back up. It wasn't a, you know, a rough foul or anything. It was just the way that he was up in the air. He wasn't able to catch himself as he went down. And he's going to shake it off. Kendrick's going to pick up the foul, Damon. That's going to be his third. It's the third of the quarter here against Western. As Lepkeman able to get up under his own power, shakes himself off, and he's going to step to the free throw line. He's already uh, three for six tonight from the charity stripe here. Damon. Mason's done a nice job here in the third quarter for Grigsville Perry. Put some points on the board. He's had several steals. Mason uh, Sidwell's going to go into the ball game. That's Logan Sidwell as Booker will take a seat. Mind you about the Moose Lodge 420. Check out the Friday meals at the Moose Lodge 420. New specials each week. The food is hot. Drinks are cold at the Moose Lodge 420. Tell them Big Merle sent you. Lipkeman can't get the second one to go. Fessler gets the rebound. He'll push it into the front court. Picks up his dribble out top. That's Forbus. Forbus gets it to Boehner. Down low looking for Kendrick. And they're going to say that it's going to be a pass touched by Grigsville Perry. So it will be Western basketball. Kendrick will be the inbound underneath his own bucket. A minute 25 to play in the quarter. Gets it into Fessler. One shot, or one dribble shot up. No good. Musgrave and Kendrick fought for the rebound. Neither could control it. Instead, Cason Brown gets it. He brings it into the front court, and he's going to shuffle his feet. That'll be a turnover against Grigsville Perry. Their fifth. And right there, Brian, Grigsville Perry, you're up 14. Just slow it down. I know Cason Brown trying to be aggressive. That's what got Grigsville Perry the lead but you don't have to force it there too much. Forbus with the basketball, left wing. He's going to look to get it down low to Kendrick. Nice job by Sidwell to step in front of the pass. He knocks it out of bounds, and it'll be Wildcats basketball. A minute three to play here on the PCRE Real Estate and Auction Scoreboard. Third quarter action. Inbound comes to Fessler. He picks up his dribble, gets it out to Boehner. Boehner holds it high above his head, puts it on the floor. Looking to attack the bucket, gets it back to Fessler. Go, being guarded closely in the corner by Musher. He finds Kendrick. He'll attack the bucket. His shot is up and good. Western's first field goal of the third quarter, and it's a 28-16 lead as Kendrick's got his sixth point of the evening. Matt Hansen wants to take a timeout to talk things over for the last 40 seconds of the third quarter. Griggsville Perry, 28. Western 16, and Brian's going to tell you about this Adams Network timeout. Adams Fiber timeout for reliable, worry-free internet that doesn't buffer and can handle whatever life throws at you with the best internet experience available. Wi-Fi 6 and speeds up to 1 gigabit. Visit followthefiber.net for more. We're back here in 30 seconds. Make your dream kitchen and bath a reality with help from Pike County Lumber. We'll create a design to fit your lifestyle and your needs. Quartz countertops, quality onyx that offers dozens of colors. From start to finish, trust the knowledge and experience at Pike County Lumber. If you have that drive and you want to do more with God, then there's opportunity there for you to do that. It's not the typical job that you would expect it to be. Like, it's just super fulfilling. When my life needed opportunity, I chose Dot. Well, Grigsville Perry took that timeout. They wanted to get Quentin Booker back into the lineup. Grigsville Perry has the basketball leading 28 to 16, 40.3 seconds to play here in the third quarter. And we'll see if Grigsville Perry can hold for one. Looks like Western might be coming out and playing a box and one as they were trying to shadow Booker. Forbus against Booker. 
Booker's got the basketball. He'll get it left wing, kick it out top to Dunham. Dunham has the dribble with 20 seconds to go. Dunham still with the dribble, gets it out top. That's Kaysen Brown. Brown has it approach the 10 second mark. He puts it on the floor, gets it free throw line to Booker. He'll get it right wing, Musgrave out top. Mason Lipman doesn't take the three. Instead, he'll get it to Booker, who will attack the bucket. His shot is up and no good, but he's going to go to the line for two. We'll see if the foul gets whistled on here. Foul's going to get whistled on against Habs. having. Yep. For having, that's going to be his fourth foul of the basketball game. It'll be the fourth of the quarter here against Western with just 3.2 left, and Booker heads back to the free throw line. First one is up, rolls around the rim, and no good. Shoemaker's going to check back in. Knox Dunham will take a seat here with 3.2. Grigsville Perry's got two guys back in the backcourt just in case in the Wildcats try anything sneaky here with three seconds left in the basketball game. Eagles will get the basketball here to start the fourth, Damon, barring timeout or jump ball here. Booker can't get the second to go. Kendrick with the rebound, gets it to Fessler. His three-quarter court shot is up, and it is short, and that'll do it for three quarters here. After three, Griggsville Perry, 28, Western 16, fourth quarter play-by-play -play coming your way after this. Go team, go. Great Rivers Bank has a digital banking app worth cheering for. Move your money, pay your bills, deposit your checks. Hooray, hooray. Set up a budget, manage your debit card, set up account alerts, and so much more. Our digital banking will give you a reason to stand up and cheer for banking. Learn more at greatriversbank.bank. Great Rivers Bank is an equal housing lender, member FDIC. Welcome to the Best of Pet Olympics 2024, sponsored by the Love Your Pet Sale at your local farm and home supply. First up, we've got the gold medal champion in speed eating. It's Ollie. Good thing more than a dozen brands of dog food are on sale. Next is Ellie, the gold medal winner in squeaker ruination. She's backed by 25% off all pet toys. And here's Moses, the gold medal winner in treat finding. He's going to love the 10% off sale on select dog treats. Check out all the deals for the Love Your Pet Sale at farmandhomesupply.com. Well, Griggsville Perry will have the basketball to start this fourth quarter of play. And Mason Lipkin will be the man that crosses the time stripe. He'll use a screen from Dunham, get it back out top to Dunham, being closely guarded by Boehner. Left wing, that's to Brown. Thought about the three, doesn't take it. He'll get it to Dunham, back to Brown, uses his dribble, now gets it out top, that's to Dunham. Dunham will get it to Lipkin. Griggsville Perry has had the basketball for 25 seconds. And Brown loses the dribble. Gets it back to Musgrave, one dribble to Lipkin, out top to Dunham, fakes the three. He'll get it left wing to Brown, back to Dunham, fakes the three again, gets it left wing, Brown, he'll take the three. That shot's up and good. Nice possession right there for the Eagles as they use 40 seconds and then hit the three, give themselves a 15-point lead, their largest of the ball game. Forbes will take it down low and he'll give it to Kendrick. Kendrick's going to be fouled by Booker, and that's going to be Booker's fourth foul of the ball game. Kaysen Brown's got nine to get a last look at this shot for Western here on the Northwestern Mutual replay. Kendrick's going to make his way to the free throw line. He's got six points on the evening, two of two from the charity stripe. Third one comes out of the hands and down, giving seven. Sidwell's going to check back in. Booker will take the seat here with 5.08 left to go. Damon and uh, Western still got an opportunity here, but they've got to get some defensive stops, and they've got to quickly turn those into points for turnovers. Yeah, you got to wonder how much longer before Western tries to pick up Length of the floor as the second one from Kendrick is no good. Musgrave gets the rebound. He'll get it off to Dunham, who will bring it across the time stripe with five to play here in the third quarter. Dunham to Lipkman. Lipkman to Brown. Back to Brown. Back door to Dunham. He's going to kick it back out to Kaysen Brown. He'll get it to the free throw line. That's Sidwell. Picks up his dribble, looking to get it. Someone gets it left wing. That's to Brown. <clears throat> Brown will get it to Lipkin, back to Brown. He'll put up another three from the same spot he just made one. Shot's no good, having with the rebound. He's going to get it to Fessler. Fessler still with the dribble, bringing it into the front court. Picks it up, gets it right wing to Forbus. His shot is no good. Dunham with the rebound, then he loses it, having steel put back up and good. And Western's not ready to go away yet, Brian. Six turnovers now on the Eagles for having. He's got three points in the basketball game. Dunham into the front court, being closely guarded by Boehner. He'll hand it off to Lipkman. He'll use the screen from Dunham. Get it right wing. That's to Brown. Brown's going to dribble through some contact. 
and he will be fouled. That's going to be on Fessler. And for Booker. Fessler, that's going to be his third of the basketball game, team first of the quarter here against the Wildcats. Booker's going to check back in. Sidwell will take a seat. Booker's back into the ball game with those four fouls, and before play resumes, Western's going to take a timeout. We'll take it to Grigsville Perry 31, Western 19, back after this Adams Network timeout. Once or twice a year, I might get the cold or a flu, and my wife calls it the man flu. So, <laughs> so you know what that is. Yo, yeah. What do I love about our team? We have a good chemistry. We all work together. I mean, come on. I've got the best job in the world. Sometimes they say, oh, I like to do handstands. Yeah, I taught Brian how to do the handstand. That's all right. <laughs> and every day, I mean, it's a fun day. Yeah, it definitely makes me proud to be here. Well, Western took the timeout 4.04 to play here in the fourth quarter. Grigsville Perry with the 31 19 lead on the PCRE real estate and auction scoreboard. Knox Dunham to inbound for the Eagles. He gets it to Booker. Booker's going to hand it back off to Dunham. Dunham out near the half court line, still not being closely guarded, then picks up his dribble, gets it to Booker. Booker puts it on the floor, splits a double team, loses it, and turnover against the Eagles. They're seventh. Got a little too aggressive right there. And Western has the basketball. That's Fessler. Fessler's going to attack the bucket, picks it up, gets it to having his shot attempt up and no good. Offensive rebound, Kendrick, his putback was no good. Lipkin with the rebound for Griggsville Perry. Gets it off to Booker, and Booker will bring it into the front court. Still has the dribble. Finally gets it off to Dunham. He'll get it to Musgrave, and Musgrave will get it back out top to Dunham with 315 to play. Nobody's come out close to guard Dunham yet. Finally they do. He puts it on the floor. He'll pick it up and hand it off to Brown. Brown at the volleyball line will get it to Booker. 305 to play in the third or in the final contest here. Final quarter. Winner of this one will play the winner of Mendota Holy Cross and Streeter Woodland at 11:30 a.m. on Saturday at Warrensburg Latham. Griggsville Perry has been able to Run some time off the clock here as there's 2.45 to play here in the fourth quarter. Still holding it out top. And like a scene straight out of Hoosiers, we're just running the picket fence out here. Fourth foul going to be whistled against Fessler for Western. Yeah, second of the quarter here. Grigsville Perry obviously just trying to burn the clock out here. And uh, that pass is going to go to the backcourt, though. The officials say that's not tipped. It'll be a turnover on the Eagles. It's their eighth of the contest. And uh, pass was thrown a little bit too yeah. hard right there. Booker's going to go to the bench. He's got those four fouls. Sidwell back into the ball game. Grigsville Perry probably burned at least 45 seconds, if not a minute, off the clock right there. A quick score update, Damon, from Mount Sterling tonight. Brown County wins a highly touted eighth grade 2A sectional, 36-23 over a very good Abingdon Avon team. Brown County heading back to state as the Wildcats knock down a three. Nice job by Brody Boehner. Pulled up for that three, shot it confidently, and it's now a single-digit lead for Griggsville Perry. Western took the timeout after that shot. 31-22, Griggsville Perry on top, 226 to play. We're back in 30 seconds. Kate Marable, real estate broker with Hometown Real Estate, would like to say good luck to all area teams and hopes everyone has a successful and healthy season. When you're in the market for a new home or would like to sell your home, be sure to call Kate Marable. Kate is a lifelong resident of the area and has experience in first-time home buyers, FHA, USDA, and VA loans. Call Kate Marable at 217-370-9809. That's 370-9809 for Kate Marable and Hometown Real Estate. Western takes the timeout after a big three right there by Brody Boehner. I believe Western has one timeout remaining. Western's got one. Griggsville should have two remaining. For Boehner, he's got six points in the basketball game. Kendrick has seven. That makes up the majority of their 22 here tonight for the Wildcats. And Western's going to pick up about the volleyball line, so more of a three-quarter court press. Griggsville Perry gets it across the line. Booker gets it to Lipkin. He'll get it left wing to Brown. Brown really wanted to take that three, but didn't. Got it out top to Lipkin, who got it to Dunham. Dunham still with the dribble, splits a double team, and he'll get it to Lipkin with two minutes to play here in the ball game. Dunham gets it, he splits the middle. Nice job there by Knox, he kicks it back out top to Brown. 
with a minute 50 to play. Western has Blake Fee out on the floor for the first time in this one, but Brody Boehner is going to be whistled for the foul. For Boehner, it'll be his first team third. Two more fouls will send the Eagles here to the charity stripe for bonus shots with 149 left to go in the basketball game. Mason Lipkeman flashed at the basket. Nothing was there, and Knox will get it into Booker. Dunham to Booker, back to Dunham, a minute 45 to play. He'll hand it off to Lipman. Oh, close right there, but Booker was able to get it before it went across the backcourt. His pass is going to be deflected. Musgrave's right there to handle it. He'll get it to Dunham. Dunham's being guarded, and then he'll be fouled by Boehner. That'll be Boehner's second. Fourth team foul against the Wildcats. Next foul will send GP to the line. Just a minute 29 left to play in the ballgame, so the Clock is not the friend of this Wildcat squad. Dunham looking to inbound, finally gets it in to Musgrave. Musgrave puts it on the floor, gets it to Dunham, and Dunham will bring it still on the dribble. He'll skip it left wing, that's to Booker. Booker thought about the one to the bucket, doesn't, brings it out, and then he'll be fouled by Boehner, and that'll be the fifth foul against the Wildcats. So Booker will go to the line for Grigsville Perry to shoot two with a minute 19 to play. Booker is three for nine so far from the charity stripe tonight. He leads all scorers in the basketball game with 17 here. Just a minute 20 left to go in this one. Winner goes to the 8A. State tournament coming up on Saturday. They'll play the winner of Mendota Cross Street or Woodland at 11.30. First shot out of Booker's hands is good. He's got 18. Having back into the ball game. Fee goes to the bench for Western. And Brian, that's a big shot right there because it really makes it a four possession game at this point. And Western, we believe, with just one timeout left. Well, and Western just hasn't had the opportunity here to get some turnovers that they've desperately needed. Second free throws up from Booker is no good. Dunham fighting for the rebound, but he doesn't grab it. And here come the Wildcats. Having gets it off to Boehner. Boehner brings it into the front court, picks up his dribble. He gets it off to Fessler. Fessler with it. He gets it to Forbus. Forbus out top. Back to Fessler, one dribble, picks it up, down low. He'll get it to having his shot up and good. Nice post move down low for having. Turned the middle, went up, and really used his left arm to shield from the shot being blocked. Into the backcourt, Booker splits a triple team. He's still got it attacking the bucket. Now he's going to look to pull it out. He'll get it to Dunham. Dunham still with it. He's being guarded by Boehner. Finally gets it off to Brown. Brown still with it. Dribbling around, hasn't been fouled yet, picks up his dribble, and they're going to take a timeout. Griggsville Perry is 32 for Griggsville Perry. Western with 24. Brian, we'll keep it right here. 27.3 seconds to play. Griggsville Perry has the basketball. They just used the timeout. They've got one timeout remaining. And each side now with one timeout apiece. Yeah, Damon. For the Wildcats here, they haven't shot the basketball exceptionally well tonight. This is a team that's been able to put up some points during the season. We've seen them score into the high 30s, into the high 40s a few times earlier this season. Just haven't been able to knock some shots down. Credit a little bit of that to the defense of the Eagles. Uh, but sometimes the shots just don't fall in your favor here this evening, and Western has just not been able to create as many turnovers as they would like to get in the second half to try and close back into this one. Yeah, we've seen Brody Boehner knock down a couple of the a couple of threes for this Western squad, which is two more threes than his uncle Coy Boehner ever made in his career. <laughs> Hi to Coy and family on vacation in Florida. Ooh. You know, Western really tried to be aggressive and go down low, and they got Quentin Booker in foul trouble throughout the night. They just weren't necessarily able to capitalize. And in large part, credit to Griggsville Perry and their guards who have been able to take some time off the clock, especially at times where Booker was on the bench, but right now Booker will go to the line to shoot two after being fouled by Blake Fee. Fee will pick up his first. Booker's going to head back to the free throw line now where he's 4-4-11 so far in the basketball game. Still leads all scorers with 18 points here as Gregsville Perry trying to close out on a sectional championship. First one out of Booker's hands is up, rolls off the front of the rim, and no good. We remind you about Waters Concrete, offering quality concrete for your new build. Driveways, decorative patios, sideways, anything with concrete. Waters Concrete is ready to serve you. 309-252-1052 for Waters Concrete. Second one from Booker with 23.7 seconds is up, and he gets the second one to go. He splits a pair. Western quickly into the front court comes Fessler. Fessler picks up his dribble, gets it to Boehner. Boehner looks to make a move. 
tries to use the screen from Fessler. Instead, Boehner will pull up for the three. Shot up, no good. Dunham with the rebound for Grigco Perry with five to play. And Brown is going to bring the ball into the front court. And that's how this one is going to end. Final in this one. Grigsville Perry 33, Western 24. Grigsville Perry advances to the 8th grade Class 1A state quarterfinals. Central Illinois Sports will bring that one to you live along with all the other games at Warrensburg Latham. Grigsville Perry will advance to face the winner of Mendota Holy Cross and Streeter Woodland. But Grigsville Perry in this one 33, Western 24 will take you to the Blessing Health System post game show where we'll wrap this one up after these. Before the Tabber, I was very active, worked out at the Croc Center, I would say less than a week. Well, of course, Amy tells me I couldn't do squats. She even wrote it in my discharge paper, great big, sandy, no squats. So I did a couple. Oh my word. Don't tell her. I knew she was going to, but. I have the best job in the world to get to work with these patients. Are you looking to streamline your banking? Great Rivers Bank has just what you need with our streamlined checking and savings accounts. Earn high interest rates or get cash back on debit card purchases with your qualifying account, plus ATM fee refunds. Certain qualifications required. Call or visit our website today at www.greatriversbank.bank to get started. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Welcome you back here on the Illini Community Hospital post-game show. Illini Community Hospital serving the community with, since 1942 with excellent health care services. From primary and specialty care to emergency medicine, Illini is here to serve you and your family. Learn more at IlliniHospital.org as we are getting ready to present the sectional plaque. Sportsmanship pin for Grigsville Perry went to Logan Sidwell. And for Western, it goes to Brody Boehner. For the Eagles, Damon, they're going to collect a sectional plaque. They're going to head to the IESA State Series for the 35th time in school history. That includes Grigsville, Grigsville Perry, or Perry appearances. And they'll be chasing after another trophy here this weekend as Quentin Booker, Cason Brown, and the rest of the Eagles come to collect their plaque. And the Grigsville Perry fans who have traveled here to Virginia give them the salute that they deserve. They improve to 17 and 10 on the season. Western Falls to 15 and 9. We will give you the final statistics here on this one. For the winners tonight, Grigsville Perry. Cason Brown finishes with nine points, one of two from the free throw line. Mason Lipkeman finishes with five. He shoots. Three of eight from the charity stripe tonight. Quentin Booker, the high scorer of the evening, 19 points, shooting five of 13 from the free throw line. The Eagles turned the basketball over eight times in the contest. On the opposite side for Western, Brody Boehner finishes with a pair of long range shots. He has six points. Hudson Moss has one. Colin Forbes finishes with three. He shoots one of two from the free throw line. Riley Kendrick shoots two of four from the charity stripe. He finishes with seven. Hunter having finishes with five, including one of two from the free throw line, and Noah Fessler adds a bucket in for two. The Wildcats commit 10 turnovers on the evening here in the sectional championship, Damon. We're going to step aside real quick on the Illini Community Hospital postgame show. When we come back, it'll be the Edward Jones Financial Investments, Derek Harris, your agent, and we'll present our player of the game. And final thoughts on this one as Grigsville Perry advances to the eighth grade state tournament, a 33-24 winner over the Western Wildcats. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Central Illinois Sports. One size fits all, that may be all right for an adjustable belt or cheap sunglasses, but when it comes to your financial needs, no one wants a one size fits all strategy. Derek Harris is your Pike and Adams County area Edward Jones financial advisor. Derek Harris's most important goals are yours. That's why Derek will take the time to understand your needs so he can recommend personalized strategies with your goals in mind. Contact Derek Harris today at 217-222-7173. Knowing you, that's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Member SIPC. As a new hunting season begins, we observe a species most rare, the hunter incompetus. The hunting ritual begins. Already, he stakes his claim by bringing a duck call to a deer hunt. Disaster strikes. A devastating blow to a long-suffering species. 
There may be no helping the hunter in competence, but for everyone else, no other place has it all like farm and home supply. Tell my mom to pick me up soon. Welcome you back here on our post-game show. As we remind you about our player of the game tonight, from Derek Harris, your Edward Jones financial advisor. Financial investments are important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement that our young athletes receive from their coaches, parents, teachers, and mentors. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones financial advisor, understands this, and that's why Derek Harris is a proud sponsor of the player of the game here on Central Illinois Sports. Well, Damon, you look at the stat sheet, it kind of makes it easy to see who stood out here tonight. Quentin Booker was able to take over early and often offensively for the Grigsville Perry Eagles, and despite getting in some early foul trouble, he was still able to make his way in and make a presence known as Matt Hansen was able to go offense, defense with him, and he was able to steer away from getting those all-important last fouls and able to stay on the court for his team. He's my pick tonight for a player of the game. Yeah, Booker came out and established himself early, and obviously it was a little bit of a challenge there at times throughout the ballgame for Matt Hansen as both Booker and Dunham got in foul trouble in the first half. We saw Matt use some of his timeouts there in the second quarter to go offense for defense, but Booker was able to come out and stay out of foul trouble long enough to help extend the lead there in the third quarter with the help of Mason Lipkeman and Kaysen Brown knocking down some big shots. But Quentin Booker came out, did some great things tonight, and he's going to be relied on heavily for Grigsville Perry come Saturday if they want a chance to advance and hoist another trophy for the Class 1A 8th grade boys state tournament series. We'll take a quick break. When we come back in 30 seconds, Matt Hansen will have the headset on. We'll talk to him about the win here tonight. And looking forward to the state tournament, you're watching the Illini Community Hospital postgame show from the junior high 8th grade 1A sectional at Virginia. It's all live on Central Illinois Sports. We do a procedure called a transcatheter aortic valve replacement, and we call it TAVR. TAVR is state of the art. It wasn't really available worldwide until the early 2000s. It's a minimally invasive procedure in order to replace the valve. I'm number one. I was number 100. Years ago, they would have to do open heart surgery, and now they don't. Had I not had it done, I would not be here today. I feel like I'm living on a bonus of blessings. Back here on the Blessing Health System post-game show. Joined now by head coach Matt Hansen of the Griggsville Perry Eagles. And Matt's going to be making his second appearance as a head coach in the state series. He'll be taking his eighth grade squad to Warrensburg-Latham on Saturday where they will play in their quarterfinal game at 1130. The winner of Mendota Holy Cross and Streeter Woodland. And Matt, not very often that two teams from Pike County have to come all the way to Cass County to face off against one another. And just a weird year for, for basketball in our area. And not very often has there been a year where Griggsville Perry and Western have not played each other in the regular season. So what did you tell your team coming into this one, a team that you know normally you'd be familiar with, but really in this ball game, you didn't, you hadn't faced these guys this year. Well, I think the, the big thing is we wanted to really contain the Fessler kid. He was kind of the point of emphasis on tonight. Um, I, I went and watched him play a couple times. I thought we would have this matchup, and I was able to talk to some other local coaches that gave me some insight. So our big game plan was to contain the n number 34, the Fessler, and make somebody else beat us, and hopefully we can win on the defensive end of the court where that's been our bread and butter. And for you guys, Quentin Booker picks up his second foul with about four and a half minutes to play in the second quarter at that time. Quentin was the only player in the scoring column for your squad. And what goes through your head when your leading scorer picks up that second foul there with four and a half minutes to play? Uh, my first thought is, how are we going to put the ball in the hoop now? But really, I was more worried about the defensive end of the court. I know, I know that I joke about putting the ball in the hoop, but we've got shooters around that can really score for us at times, and we needed one of them to step up. And I, I, truthfully, I don't remember how much scoring we had at that point from then on forward, but I, I knew that if we could just contain defensively, we can figure out the offense with some runouts. Well, I think one of the things that really stood out in this ball game for you, Matt, was your guard play. Even when Booker went to the bench with those two fouls and he was the only player in the scoring column at that time, what you guys were able to do is really have extended possessions on offense. You really ran that four quarters on offense or four corners and really spread the ball out and took some time off the clock, bought you some time before you could get Booker back in. But just talk about your guards and what they were able to do for you in this one. I think there's two kids in particular that need a lot of credit. The first one is Mason Lipkin, and he's just a sixth grader playing eighth grade basketball, and I think that's a really hard thing for him to do. And the other thing is we have a seventh grade guard, Knox Dunham, out there, and 
I don't think they looked like young kids tonight. I thought they showed some poise and took care of the ball. And I think Knox has really shown all year about how much, of, how valuable of a ball handler he can be for us. Yeah, Knox did a good job here for you in this one. And then obviously you have an eighth grader out on the floor in Kaysen Brown. Kaysen, it seems like he's a veteran of junior high basketball. He's played a lot since he was a sixth grader. Came up with some really big shots for you here in the second half. Just talk about what Kaysen brings to the floor for you. Oh, Kaysen is our leader at kind of at all times. It seems like any time we need a big play, Kaysen really does it for us. Um, I'll never – that kid is the most clutch kid I've ever had, and he had a big shot as a sixth grader to win the, to win the third place game in triple overtime as a buzzer beater. And he, his leadership with those younger guards is really valuable for us. Anytime they're struggling, we need to bring him up so he can help those other two out. And, Matt, you know, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention – the fifth man out on the floor for you, Eli Musgrave. He's an eighth grader. Eli's not a kid that's going to look to score, but he just does a lot of the little things right. We saw he drew a couple of fouls with some over-the-back calls, but what does Eli Musgrave bring to this Eagle squad? He brings some physicality. One thing that I like and dislike at the same time is Eli is not afraid to foul somebody and, and really match the energy. Eli is a star in his role, and I think kids that don't get it, kids like that don't get enough credit. We, everyone talks about scoring all the time, and they don't talk about the role that he has. Well, Eli's what we like to call farm strong, and if he were <laughs> was Booker size, there'd be kids flying all over the oh, floor yes, in this one because if he's going after the basketball, either he's going to get it or somebody's going to get knocked down on the way. But just a nice overall game right here for your Eagle squad, and as we. Look for the IESA updates. Mendota Holy Cross won their ball game oh, over Streeter Woodland by a final score of 49 to 33. So that's who you will face on Saturday at 11:30 at Warrensburg Latham. And Matt, obviously, I know you haven't had too much of a chance to focus on who you'll be playing on Saturday, as you were worried about winning this ball game. But how do you prepare the next few days to get these kids ready? And you know, sometimes going into this state series, it's not necessarily preparing as much for the opponent. It's preparing for how to control the nerves going into the game I, I think you're right I think tonight we played nervous and timid and I hope Saturday we don't do that in terms of a game plan I'll I'll do everything I can to figure out anything I can but I believe that school is about three hours away so finding any information on them is going to be tough and a lot of times teams are kind of hesitant to give out their neighbors information but I will definitely be trying to do my homework tomorrow well and you're going to come in and I mean the big thing for this Grigsville Perry squad is you're not going to change anything that you've done to get to this point you know what got you there and you're going to come in ready to do the same, and you'll make adjustments as you go. But, you know, want to thank head coach Matt Hansen here, his Grigsville Perry Eagle squad with the big win tonight in this one over the Western Wildcat squad. Grigsville Perry advances to 17-10 and 10 on the season, and they will travel to Warrensburg-Latham on Saturday for the 35th appearance in school history. And it'll actually be a 1 o'clock game on Saturdays when Grigsville Perry will play. But it's the... 35th appearance in school history in the state series for basketball between Griggsville, Perry, and now Griggsville, Perry. And this Eagles squad has added a couple more plaques to the trophy case already this year, looking to add the big one here as they will go to Warrensburg Lace. And Matt, thank you for your time here tonight. Congratulations to your squad. Best of luck to you all here this weekend. Thank you, and thank you for doing the game. We appreciate it. Yeah, always good to have Matt Hansen here with us. And want to thank this Virginia community for their hospitality here tonight. Always a great job. We're going to see if uh, we can't get Brian Shoebaker another slice or six of pizza here before he makes his way back home. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much for joining us here tonight. We remind you we'll have class coverage at all four sites here coming up for the eighth grade tournament. And if you get subscribed before Thursday night, you can watch the seventh grade state championships as well. For my go good friend beside me, Damon Emmerich, my name is Brian Shoemaker. We are so very happy, humbled, and honored that you have chosen to spend your evening watching junior high basketball with us. Tune into Jack and Charlie. They've got a great one lining up over at Pittsfield as Camp Point Central takes on Pittsfield at Voschel. We'll see you coming on later on this week and this weekend. Be careful getting home if you're on the way home. If you're already home, enjoy the rest of your evening. Hey, call your mom. She probably misses you. We'll see you guys later on. This is a Central Illinois Sports Production.